ASUS finally added in the CPU overclocking options back into the ASUS TUF Gaming X570 Plus Wi-Fi motherboard. I'm going to show you all the options, how to set them, and let's get right into it. Alright, um, I've actually got the camera microphone and this microphone on, so I'll jump in or pause if I have any comments where I messed up in the video, so let's start listening. Asus uh, released new BIOS 2802 for the Asus Tough Gaming X570 Plus uh, Wi-Fi which is this board. It should be the same for the not Wi-Fi. So I didn't feel like hooking up the capture card, so here we are on the BIOS. So first thing we're going to do is you can see at the top, about fourth line down, BIOS version 2802. You're going to need to go get that BIOS and update to that BIOS. I've already got a previous BIOS upgrade video. It's not difficult at all. You can watch that one if you need to know how to do it. Um, so I'm going to hit F7 to go into uh, advanced mode. And the very first thing I'm going to do is load optimize defaults, which erases everything. And we're going to start with a fresh overclock on this. Um, there's about seven or eight settings we're going to change. Okay, so these are all the settings that we're going to overwrite and erase and set it back to factory defaults. Um, I've already loaded optimized defaults. And these settings are going to change. And we're going to start fresh on the new 2802 BIOS. So the RAM set automatically whenever I changed it to DOCP. Uh, starting right here, these are the ones from the AMD and uh, Yuri Bubile 1 US Mus wrote the CTR, the clock tuner for Ryzen, and also the RAM tuner for Ryzen. Both of these recommend changing these settings uh, to get to uh, you know the best. CPU state for pure CPU overclocking without having to go into Ryzen Master just all on its own running the best it possibly can and all these are going to be linked in the bottom of the description and plus on my website alright so I'm going to go ahead and reset and do this so it's resetting right now I'm going to go in back into the BIOS so I'm hitting delete right now, or F2, to uh, get back in the BIOS. And we're entering the BIOS, and now I'm going to hit F7 to go into advanced mode. As you can see, about the fourth, fifth line down, we're at vert BIOS version 2802. Alright, so over here on AI Tweaker, I'm going to set this to DLCP. And it gave me a warning, and then it changed my RAM back to 3616 uh, CL latency. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and see what do I need anything else. I'm going to set my OC tuner and turn that on, and you'll see it restarted for me. Wasn't that special? But anyway, that's what it does when you turn the OC tuner on. It's tuning right now. So back into the BIOS, delete or F2. Hit F7 to go into advanced mode. Alright, let's come back over here. And I have to reset my RAM profile. Okay, that's cool. I'm leaving this alone right now. Um, and you can see it changed my CPU core ratio to 40.5 from the default. This is a 3700X CPU. Um, I've got my memory speed OC tuners on now. Um, I'm not going to change. That's just if you want to fake your test. Precision boost overdrive. 
this is not where I'm going to turn it on. I'm going to turn it on the a AMD CBS menu. Uh, you could turn it on here. I think it turns it on there too. Yeah, it wasn't automatic to turn that on. All right, I did enable uh, Precision Boost Overdrive in the AI Tweaker at the bottom. I did enable it there, but I'm also going to enable it over under your advanced AMDB, AMD CBS menu. Let's start this next section. All right, we're back in the BIOS again. Uh, this is where I just made the changes, so now we're going to go to the next menu. And actually, I'm going to need a light on. Turn that light back on so I can read my notes. Just a second here. Uh, I was trying to give you a better screen picture. Um, let me make sure I'm trying to make it focus here. Okay. That should do it. Okay. So, now we're coming over here to the advanced menu. And I don't think there's, no, there's nothing here. Uh, if you want to turn on virtualization mode for the San Windows Sandbox, you got to turn it on here. Well, we're not going to do that right now because it has to be disabled for Ryzen Master, which we're not even going to use in this video. We're doing it all in the BIOS. Um, so let's get back out. So this bottom one, AMD CBS. This is where all our advanced CPU options are. Uh, I'm about to show you what ASUS, this whole section changed since the last 2607 BIOS. A lot of us were trying to find stuff and complaining. They had removed that bottom option, NBIO options. So we are going to go these one by one so the first one we want to come down to uh, global C state control we're going to change this one to enabled now some people say disable this but we're going to be controlling C states that's why we're enabling it I've seen one video from Graphically Challenged where he said disable it. I think it was this one. We're doing things different. We're going to do it the AMD re recommended way. Uh, so now we're coming to this bottom one, NBIOS. All right, in here, SMU options right here so we're under AM advanced AMD CBS uh, NBIO common options SMU options so we're going to go further into this sub menu now there's several in here we need to enable uh, power package limit Let's see it's not that one Uh, this is one of them right here. Set this to one in conjunction with the fixed SOC state. Once once we set that to one, let's go back to auto. You can see how the P states is not there at this moment. But I change that to one, then you can see the fixed SOC P state is P zero now. All right, so that is set for the PPC adjustment P states. There's two settings, A, P, B, D, I, S equal one, and the fixed SOC P state equal P zero. And that was completely missing before. All this NBIO options was missing. All right, so this one, these next two we have to enable. Enabled, so the CPPC and CPPC preferred core. I'm checking off what I got done here. 
Um, all right. All right. So those are enabled, and we need to come back to this one. This is what stated, and I'm not a hundred percent positive on this one, that it's the equivalent of the old AMD cool and quiet. Uh, we set D F C states to an. All right, this is one of the things that's kind of optional. Um, I'm using disabled here at the current moment, giving me about another hundred points. You can leave it enabled. It takes away a little more power from the CPU. But I disable it just so I get that extra 100 points in Cinebench. Enabled. Okay. Now we need to find power supply idle control, which is under CPU common option. So we need to come back up. Um, yeah, I, I missed it before. We need to change this to low current idle. Okay, that's our recommended settings from AMD. Uh, this will do unlock the CPU where in the high performance AMD high performance power plan it doesn't throttle itself down uh, same thing for uh, one US mus at is on Twitter at one US M U S or Yuri Bubili is his name and you can find these articles on tech power up on guru3d.com yeah, and further below in the comments, I put the links to one PC World interview with AMD's Robert Halleck, where he explains these are the settings you change to unlock your Ryzen CPU, and also uh, the link to the Tech Power Up article where Yuri Bubili at One US MUS uh, explains these the same settings, so they're in agreement so you can have confirmation for this on overclock.net um, he's all over the place we're on twitter he's working on ctr clocked in for Ryzen right now uh, so right now i'm looking for precision boost overdrive and i just passed it it was under uh, amd bcbs under x uh yeah nbio XFR enhancement, which I'll show in just a minute. Um, I enabled Power Boost Overdrive over here. All right. I've already run tests before. I think I'm at the point where I'm ready to save this and go run a Cinebench. Um, I'm going to drop off right now. i am just hit save before I do. Okay, I'm doing a double check. This is what global C state control enabled check. Are both my CPPCs enabled? Yep, check. Uh, DFC states zero. Actually, um, I found a mistake. Oops. We're going to go back in and change one of these settings. And I'll double check this one. I may end up re recording this. That DFC state should have been disabled because I found a mistake. Yeah, that's where you'll get the extra 100 points in Cinebench if you change disabled. All right, still rebooting. Um, restarting one more time. We're going to go look at that again. I'm going to change it. 
that it's for the old AMD cool and quiet and the DFC states. Okay, F7 to advanced menu, come back to advanced, and back down to AMC DCBS and bio options and SMU common options. This one right here should be disabled. Now I'm going to double check that as soon as I stop recording. So I'm going to hit F10, save that. All right, um, I found uh, in the A. Right, one ABC. little sub note here I found the precision boost overdrive in the. So we're under advanced. Now we're going back into the AMD CBS menu. And then back to the NBIO common options. And right under here, XFR enhancement. So I got to accept this. And then I can also change the precision boost overdrive. This is where I want to do it because this is the AMD menu, the AMD CBS. So I'm going to enable it here, hit F10 and save it. And we'll see you in Windows in a minute. All right, these are some pictures of the options we manually changed. Um, go ahead and make these bigger. So we just covered all this and this. And the other one was this. But they're in this links. Let's get these off the screen. By the time I got done with these things, without doing any other overclocking, without using Ryzen Master, without any RAM overclocking, I got 350 point gain. I was at 4442 before I just changed these settings. Now I'm at 4786 or 4789, so about 350. So that's that. Now, these all these notes are going to be down below in the comments or description. First off, um, where to download the BIOS. There's the link. If you do mess it up, there's a recovery method. Um, I have a previous video on right here from July on Intense Webs where I did BIOS upgrades on the Asus Tough X570 Gaming. So you can go look at that to see how I upgraded the BIOS. Don't be afraid. I used to be. Um, that's in my channel from this July. So these two links right here are support documents and they are these ones right here that cover the C states and why AMD recommended you change them. Even if it's for our Epic 7002 series which is their new Ryzen Epic uh, server processors it still covers these options in their BIOSes and that's why there's so many darn options so many yeah so many dang options to choose from and to glean through so stick with what i covered and you should be good to go here's a second guide from high performance uh computing the technical community they cover everything that you should set on your servers to really give it more speed and a lot of it applies to um you know the regular Ryzen CPUs this is one of the ones we changed so that's there so further down below these two items are ones from at one US must on Twitter and another one from AMD and the links where they show or they state the same thing Here's the first one from One US Must, one of his stories. Um, 
this is not exactly true. We did find these and we did ch make changes for them. Um, item number six is the PP2 adjustments for the uh, P state zero. And item number four for the cool and quiet. That's where I changed it to disabled. Disabled for me. Give me another 100 points on the Cinebench. So there's that. And here's the live version of it. Uh, I'll play a, a couple seconds. I, I'm probably okay. going to mangle this, uh, but Glenn AZ is asking, uh, do they recommend the custom power plan provided by user 1USMUS? If not, why so? And do they know him? Uh, okay. Okay, so now... Robert Halleck sends the next 10 minutes covering the same things, the settings, and trying to explain why we set those. So you won't have to, you don't have to overthink it. AMD recommends it, One US uh, must recommends it. Um, of course, I think it's the most of it. Uh, just one other thing I want to show you is the <clears throat> excuse me system uh, power and sleep. Okay. So I'm in settings, and then additional power settings. You want to switch to the AMD Ryzen High Performance Plan, and this eventually, at first, it didn't have all the right settings in it. Um, and you ran that install batch from one US must, but AMD fixed it. Um, and you can go check, just dive as deep into it. The change to that power plan right here. So uh, system, let's go back to home. System, power and sleep, and over here, additional power settings. Change to that AMD Ryzen High Performance Plan. All right. Get out of this and of course please hit that like and that follow button subscribe to my channel anything you do to help there's my Twitter and my Twitch uh, Facebook I put a lot of videos on Instagram my discord server it's not real active but it's there and of course merch if you want to buy some merch and these are all sponsored links from Amazon so if you buy from there, I'll make a small commission on it. Um, I think that's it for now. So, guys, this is a good BIOS. Two thumbs up on this new BIOS. I'm so happy Asus added these back into the BIOS. They were originally in the BIOS, and nobody knew what to do with them when Ryzen came out. Ryzen 2, Ryzen 3000 came out. So, good deal. Thanks for watching, guys.